one for you guys today. We're putting 43 inch dually wheels on Caleb's Jeep. One of the big reasons we're doing this is Raceline Wheels wants this turd in their booth in a couple of weeks at the Winter 4x4 Jamboree. And we don't wanna just bring a regular Jeep down there. We want their booth to stand out. So we took a two inch wheel spacer, we hit the normal studs out and we made our own studs. We took a piece of all thread, welded a nut, grabbed it down so it would fit in the holes 16 times. But now all we have to do is bolt the spacer to the hub. How hard is it to line all these little things up? Well, this is the only, hardest part, I think. When you only have one hand, and you got eight, eight studs, you can imagine how hard. Ah, there we go. There. Nice. So then we got these little acorn nuts. And they thread all the way into that spacer to hold this tire on tight. But we made a sick tool that makes it so they go on super quick. So this is the tool that they came up with. We got a half inch drive on one side, down a piece of DOM tubing to, what is that, a three quarter inch? Three quarter. Three quarter inch, uh, so we just hold, that maybe holds up. Oh, it does. It works like a charm. And that's how she works. Between the four wheels on the back and the two in the front, we figure we have 96 lug nuts holding this thing together. <laughs> Do you think any of them are gonna come loose? Because oh, yeah. Caleb is known to have tires fall off. That's why we're torquing these all to the right torque spec for welded all thread. Well, the only thing we could be sure about is that the Jeep's out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to just put the tire on, put lug nuts on, and suck it up to this tire and call it good. But we wanted to go the extra step and make it a little bit stronger. What we did was we got one inch tube with an inner diameter that fits perfectly. Look at that, that's butter. And what this is gonna do is make it so we can torque this second set of spacers down instead of just hoping they stay tight. So if you thought one spacer was bad enough, we're throwing another one on there. This, normal spacer. Regular two inch, off, eight on 170. Right off the shelf of eBay. Just for the viewers here, how, how strong is that thing? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's pretty good. Might wanna go easy here, I don't know. Was that the I don't know what that was. Last step, last and final step. This is the throw your tire. Uh, I think I just popped my groin. Uh, popped his groin. You popped your groin. <laughs> <laughs> what are you lifting with your groin for? <laughs> so this is sick because those studs are just barely sticking through that wheel. So when we tighten it up, get those studs on, it's gonna suck these wheels together. There's like an inch of suction. Up. <laughs> we hope it doesn't suck. Wow, these get about two turns. Really? Kind of scares me. Yeah, I know. Let's go real easy here. Both these tires have 10 PSI too, so. Is the hubcap tight? Oh yeah, that means it's tied up against that spacer. And that is how you put a set of 43 inch dualies on your Jeep. Kinda reminds me of like a harvester, like a tractor. Dude, we will never get this stuck. You don't think so? No, dude, look at how wide that is. We're gonna get plenty of traction if it holds up. My question is how much does that outside tire wobble? 
I don't know. Let's no, jack it up. It. This thing's going to be all over the place. Guaranteed. I'll bet you we're going to need to drive it like 20 feet and it'll even the tires back out. Look at that. That's <laughs> sick. Dude, it's they like, don't really wobble that much. We need to figure out a front loader bucket on the front. Yeah, we do. Put it into a tractor or something. There's less play now. Is there? We took the wheel bearing out. We tightened up the bearings, basically. Yeah, so, but it's got less play now than it did before. I think we need to start the Jeep, throw it in drive. And see what it does. And see if that tire's doing this. We should probably open up Ray's garage door so it doesn't accidentally fall and throw us through the door, because <laughs> the Jeep's pretty close. The best part about this whole thing is there's not a tire out there that's probably better to do this with. They have those big blocks that are gonna like yeah. interlock. I'm sure anything else would probably work, but I think these are gonna be like optimal. After the double decker video, this thing was running like junk. It pretty much just got put away and left alone. I pulled it in, did a bunch of stuff, did a tune up, new regulator, new spark plugs, new all sorts of stuff. So hopefully, it runs good. It hasn't really ran a whole ton since I did all that stuff to it. Yep. Now floor it. I think it's a matter of time before we bend those all threads. You think? I actually have way better control than I thought I would. <laughs> How do you feel the strength is? I, they feel pretty dang solid, honestly. Should we take it down the road? You want, let's do it. Let's see how bad it wobbles. I, I want to try some cyclones in it. I'm going to try to do those really fast four-wheel drive burnouts. See if we can hurry and break it. It's way too oh, wide. Man. That's what we need with the, the six-seater. That that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. So people yeah, will quit totally. saying. Everybody worried about us rolling over. We just rolled the dually wheels on it. 
Our film vehicle died. Come on, baby. Come on, we got, we got fuel. This isn't Caleb's. Can they quit running? Yeah. I've had it. We'll start now. And Grino thinks it's a Jeep. Usually it fires right up. Did you touch this thing last? No. Does it have gas in it? Oh, I guarantee it's empty. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't do this to me. Uh-oh. Nothing. I don't know why everything we have breaks. Every See, time we drive some. It's the guys that are working on us, bro. Yeah, that's true. At least we're working that dually. Yeah, good thing we got that traction. It ended up getting a little too dark last night to film. And I gotta tell you guys, we just got a new camera and looking at the footage from yesterday, the settings were way off. So we've hopefully fixed it now and today's footage will be better. We're gonna start the Jeep up, let her warm up, and then we're gonna put this puppy to the test. Dually wheels are holding up great, even better than we thought. So we're gonna hook it up to the flatbed and see if it tows good. This thing's gonna squat like crazy when that thing's hooked up. She's actually not squatting quite as bad as I thought it was going I it'd to. Be way worse than that. I did too. I think this puppy's roadworthy. I think so. It actually isn't as heavy as like I thought. It's not no. like I, it's not that heavy. If this ain't heavy enough, we're putting my Jeep on it. Now let's see how this does first. <laughs> So, I mean, other than like the suspension, kind of like you'd hit a bump, it would like bottom out. I think it evened out the dualies. Like it runs down the road smooth when there's no bumps. Hey, that's sweet. And it well, felt like it had enough power to pull it. Like, can we throw another Jeep on there? Honestly, I feel like your Jeep would lift the rear end of this <laughs> Jeep on trying to yeah, load it on, but probably would. I what think, do you think, Brad? I think Alex's trailer needs new suspension. I was catching air off the chair, but <laughs> the strap held the chair down. Did it? Yeah, it didn't move. Did it look like it rode good? Like yeah, everything did, looked smooth? It didn't look like anything cared. So really? I say we load one up. A Jeep? Yeah. Which one, Dad's or Alex's? Dad's looks cooler right now. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> you want to put your Jeep on this? Sure. I don't know, dude. I think it might lift the back of that up. Yeah, I'll bet, I'll bet it does. Just go nice and easy and we'll see what happens. We kind of got a little scary driveway in the snow. It's pretty steep and it's icy right now. And the biggest problem is we don't have trailer brakes on that trailer, so if it starts to push his Jeep, we can't just stop it. A lot of things could go bad right here. Probably hard to see in the camera. We've got sideways a couple times coming up it, but we've never really got sideways coming down it because we don't really go anywhere with super heavy loads out of here in the winter time. Hopefully the trailer doesn't jackknife and end up through the back of his Jeep. Careful, Spongebob, careful, Spongebob. We're chilling. We are chilling. There's like some like nasty creaking sound and I don't know what it is <laughs> and it's kind of scaring me. I might need a 
take her out of low range, guys. We might get some speed going. Gotta get into high range. Dude, it honestly feels better with the Jeep on it. Like, Does it's it really? Smoother. I don't know why, but it's smoother with the Jeep on it. It looks so solid. Does it? Oh it yeah. It feels good. From an outsider looking in, does it look like it's entertaining or does it just look like we're idiots? <laughs> I better not answer. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married long enough, I, it's just good to hold back. <laughs> <laughs> an idea while we were driving why don't we just put the gooseneck on it and just see what it does just put it you're on the freaking ball nuts on this hitch. the and gooseneck just, just see what it does i'm not saying pull it i'm just want to see how much this can hold <laughs> dude it's not bad oh my gosh there's not very much room for this thing to flex like that's almost touching. Oh that. yeah, it is. As soon as we go sideways, I just don't want it to rip that ball off. But I guess the hitch has a little bit of movement. I think it'll be fine. I'm just stoked that like, well, it's your. It's Jeep. not. It's not like bent out. Alex, I need you to ride on the trailer, and if we can't stop, put your foot down okay. on those dually I'll wheels. Wedge my foot in between the deck and the. Tire. Dude, wait a minute. This is a tandem duel. How many tires are on this trailer? Two, four, six, eight, ten, 14. twelve, fourteen tires. We're a fourteen wheeler right 1, here. One thousand seven hundred and eighty lug nuts. <laughs> wait, there's, a, there's a spare and a spare up oh, there. That's Fifteen. Dude, fifteen. Maybe we should put a couple of tires on this so we're an eighteen wheeler. There you go. Oh, then you, then you gotta have a CDL. I know. You oh, that's that. true. We don't want that. No, that's 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 not for us. Is it bending? You're gonna do a wheelie. Hey! Oh my gosh! No more tweaking. Is it good? I don't know. No way, dude. We're freaking dialed. We are dialed. It's perfect. It's just, I think the little sounds, the little squeaks, are the bottom of this rubbing up against that aluminum. I'm think, I'm starting to trust your welds more and more. Dude, I know. I'm worried about this aluminum hitch, dude. That's How a, much are they rated for? 10,000. 10,000 pounds? We probably got the 2,500 pound one. Yeah, Brady got it for free at a yard sale. This is reckless. <laughs> dude. So this trailer is 6,500 pounds. That's I mean, good. what's the, theoretically here, just talking theoretically, this motor came out of a truck, a Chev, you know, three quarter ton truck. I guarantee they're rated for 6,500 pounds to tow. We've got a 6.0 motor, a 4L80 transmission, and an Atlas transfer case. And these are super duty, one ton F350 axles. So this thing is literally built to tow this in, in my, I mean, yeah, those parts are. Other than the suspension, it's perfectly fine. And the bumper. I think we're probably going through like three gallons a mile of fuel too. Anybody watching this, if you can find that a Jeep TJ has pulled more than this, I'd love to know I'd about love it. to see it. Dude, what if we set a record, like went out for a yeah. world record or something, how much can a Jeep tow? Dude, these bumps aren't even bottomed out in there. Oh man. Right there, that's good. I don't want this thing going anywhere. No, I'd be ashamed if this thing came off. The lengths we go to to get these shots is just 
humbling. I gotta stop the program for a quick message. Our new Peck Brothers leather patch beanies are on the website now. They're a one size fits all. For anyone who's got a huge head like me, these will fit great. Go grab you one on the website, peckbrothersoffroad.com. Some guy shed. <laughs> yeah.